welcome and thanks for joining us. Welcome to this week's edition of Just Ask Freeman, which thousands of Americans across our great country have the honor to call and ask you questions and congratulations on that and so many people trust you. We have a lot of questions. They say we've heard you talk about income producing assets. What would that mean? Okay. Now, remember how Rebecca talked about the fact that the 401k uh, since its inception since 1974, we saw pensions sort of disappear. Contracts with matching uh, monies to uh, your contributions to employer-sponsored retirement accounts. And, I, and, and we also discuss uh, the number of shows that we've done together here. Um, financial literacy. Yes. We, you know, well-educated, however, did not have the privy of what to do? Uh, yeah, what never do taught I do it to us. Funds? How would we know? Well, we're on our own. Yeah. Okay, because 7.5 percent of the institutions in the U.S. offer a pension, which is tiny compared to what it was 40, 50 years ago. Thank you very much. Yeah. So we're on our own. Now, <clears throat> it's important to put away funds. In the most of the viewing audience are preparing for retirement. Yes. So they have assets. 300,000, half a million, million dollars, some two million. I reviewed and helped clients make these funds last. Now, your 401k, your TSP, your 401a, your 403b, and I'm going to quantify everything into the employer sponsored retirement account. Okay. That will be an income producing asset if managed well. Because, see, that's why I, I mentioned earlier that we have annual reviews because there's a little adjustments over five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. Why? Inflation. Mm -hmm. Tax is going to increase. They did it when you're working. Healthcare costs are in going to increase. Yeah. Uh, pharmaceuticals. Uh, Etc. But they increase. also change the rules on us too. That's even more important. Why you need to you touch need, base every year or so. Yeah, because you want to make sure that the assets uh, you might have uh, volatile accounts, like funds. You could have savings accounts. You have your employer-sponsored retirement accounts. These are income producing assets if you have the right financial professional managing those accounts for you and handling them without a bunch of fees, right. without market volatility, market risk, because you have accumulated monies in various pockets, I'll call them. Mutual funds, you might have funds in bonds, you may have funds, uh, shares in credit unions. We got to put these funds together, and Social Security plays a major role. Yes. Even though, at one time, it provided 46% of our retirement. That's when we had pensions. That wow. pie chart has gotten smaller. This is the little piece for uh -huh. Social Security. <laughs> there you go, 36%. Wow. So it's important that, that you have, take these income producing, I don't want to use that, the funds that you have accumulated, monies in different areas, okay, that can be utilized to provide guaranteed lifetime income. And pass, we, remember we talked about, uh, Rebecca, you, got, you have guaranteed income. Here's your spouse. You live to age 100. Gabriel took you away. Your spouse received that guaranteed income to age 110. So, folks, our list, our, our viewing audience might say, well, gee, I have, I have monies in this place, and I have funds in my 401k, I have monies in the credit union. Folks, you need a, you need a second opinion, and you need a review, and you need to know when to file for Social Security, how to bring in other assets that produce income that you can't outlive. You want to know, folks? Just ask Freeman. Call us at 833-414-7233 and get a tax-efficient report.
And you're so optimistic you have people living to 110. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, there are different products that uh, I'm not promoting any product one product right. over another. But there's but long term goals, one, you know. Age to age to 120. Wow. And we are. Really? Uh, in my recollection, let me see, there's 450,000 people that are 100 years old. In the next, wow. ooh, I think the next 10 to 15 years, uh, could be, I, I know it's going to double. Because all the baby boomers are now getting to that. Living longer. Right. See, longevity is out there. And I compared the difference between uh, <clears throat> what happened to a 65-year-old when Social Security, uh, since his inception in 1935, was only 12 years. Right. Now, now it's 30 or 40 <laughs> 30 years. 30 or 40 like, years, yikes. and you need comfortable retirement. And let me share this book with you, yes, The 10 definitely. IRA Mistakes and How to Avoid Tax Traps. That The taxes are going to fluctuate, most likely fluctuate up, <laughs> okay, sure. during your retirement. Inflation, I talk about that in that, in the, in that uh, text there, or I should say that book, easy read. Yeah. <clears throat> but Getting back to income producing assets are monies that you have saved. Now you can protect the principal and generate guaranteed lifetime income. Gotcha. And you won't be able to outlive it. And so you don't need to be risky. You don't need to stay in all these up and down bull markets you don't or whatever have to because, because you've protected that. Exactly. And it's hard to recover. Yeah. Okay. Especially yeah. when you're older. Yeah. If uh, a good example is. Uh, I think on our next show I'll have that graphic. Okay. Uh, where oh, we can even I, I, we can I put have it the, online too. Yeah, they can get it from Just Ask Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Anything you need. That's <laughs> it. Just Ask Freeman. But it showed how there was a dip of thirty percent. How many years? If you just got if you if your assets received just three percent and uh -huh. you lost thirty percent of your nest egg, it takes you approximately. Twelve and a half years if you lost, like to the Great Recession in 2008, right. people lost 40% of their lifetime earnings. None of my folks did. Why? I stay in my lane. Their assets are safe. They generate guaranteed life, uh, lifetime income. They're not peppered with a lot of fees, volatility, right. uncertainty, market risk. You don't put... 55, 60, 70, these people are, pre are preparing for retirement and they have to make their assets last. last throughout their lifetime. So part of your meeting together is really finding out their dreams and their goals too. It's not just how much money do you have, it's what do you want to do with the rest of your life. Exactly. You gotta find out exactly what they want. They're just gonna have the monies to fund it. Fantastic. Let's take a quick break. All There's right. the number one more time. Just ask Freeman any question you may have, 833-414-7233. Stay with us. All right. When was the last time you saw your financial professional? Are you getting the most out of the strategy that was created for you? Although you've done a great job finding someone to help plan for your future, are you 100% sure that you were given the right strategy? We can help answer these questions and more with a complimentary second opinion evaluation. We will take a look at what you have in place, then help determine if you are well positioned to get the most out of your future retirement income. In the event that it is not, we can help by making suggestions and showing you how to get on the right path. You wouldn't get just one opinion when it comes to a major health decision. So why would you treat your most important financial decision with such disregard? Call today for your no cost, no obligation, second opinion evaluation to see if you are getting the most out of your retirement income plan. retirement planning can be stressful. We pride ourselves on being different from other financial planning firms. You know, and during your initial meeting, we will get to know you and you will get to know us. We want to learn all about your vision for retirement and together we'll design a plan to achieve your long-term financial goals. Our friendly staff will make you feel comfortable. 
the moment you walk in that door. Call us today for your complimentary review. You deserve the retirement of your dreams. Just ask Freeman. Call us at 1-833-414-7233. Welcome back. Retirement of your dreams. That is exactly what we were just talking about. You find out what your goals are, what your dreams are. You map out the plan. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to Social Security. I know we keep kind of beating a dead horse on this, but it is so important because there's money that you can actually lose if you don't do it at the right time. Exactly. And we're not actually beating a dead horse because we have viewers out there that, you know, getting your Social Security benefits can be quite complex yes. because there's different scenarios. Survivor spouse, uh, there is um, the spouse who didn't work, can she get Social Security benefits or he receives Social Security benefits? What is the calculations involved in that? What if they have worked and they have a smaller benefit than their spouse, he or she? All right. And what if they were divorced? Right, and what if they have dependent children and still dependent when they pass children. away, or disabled children? That's right. So those yeah. kind of things. Uh, that's why uh, you, you need to just ask Freeman to get your Social Security report, so you have the month and the year of which you start uh, receiving those benefits. Just ask Freeman. Call us at eight three three four one four seven two three three and get your Social Security report. We're going to talk about that. And yes, when they walk into the office, I love to sit down with them and, and, and I just try to be an active listener. Mm -hmm. And see what's important to the individual sitting in front of me. Yeah. Because each person or each couple is different. And I sit there and listen, I take those notes. <laughs> and the amazing thing, over the years, I refer to those notes that the clients indicated where they like to be and what they want to do in their retirement. That's I neat. Them, what do you see? Yeah. You know, just ask Freeman. Call us at 833-414-7233. <laughs> Tell me, what do you see? So that we can lay out a plan, Rebecca, that is essential to the well-being and the best interest of the client. Some of the clients got some real nice things they like to do. Yeah. Uh, they like to, they've started their own businesses. I've seen them, uh, they are uh, ministers. That some became wonderful. ordained. Doing charity work. Charity work uh, because I've set up guaranteed income. They're not concerned about losses of money. They know that every year, every decade, those funds are coming. And they can pay the bills. And they can pay their bills. And what we do is we work on minimizing bills along the way. Interesting. When, you know, How do you minimize bills? Well, what we do is things like wipe out credit card debt. Yeah, that's true. That's the highest interest, right? That's right. Uh, now, I'm a big advocate of having a mortgage paid off. Now, some folks say, well, I'll never pay the mortgage off. Well, yeah. my philosophy for my firm is you don't have any mortgage. And something else, too, you can't make the mistake of utilizing uh, the uh, equity in your home, we've seen how property values have dropped and they increase. Right. So, you know, you have equity there, but you don't want to have that as just a, uh, a retirement income because that can change, okay, just like your 401k. I've seen folks <clears throat> who had to adhere, this is recent, to the 10-year rule. Mm -hmm. They're getting a payout from their employer sponsored retirement accounts, Rebecca. Mm. That's going to change maybe month to month or day to day. Okay. You might not get that $1,000 per, I'm going to just use that as hypothetical, $1,000 a month. The market drops, maybe it drops down to seven fifty a month. Mm -hmm. See, so income producing assets are those uh, monies that you've set aside during the accumulation phase of your career. Do you think, um, and I've heard this, that you can give money to charity, any real 501c3, and then you don't have to give it to the government? You can, well, you, let's take plain old individual. Okay. Okay. You got 100K uh, in the IRA. You can give that to charity. But there are caps on how much that you can, that you can give to 
uh, it, with the charitable giving. And in, in Maryland, there's a very small amount that you can give. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So it's a set amount. Exactly. But if you owe 20000 let's say, on taxes, mm -hmm. and you give, let's say, 10000 to a charity. It's kind of nice to know that it's going to a charity instead of just to yeah, the federal government. Exactly. So you could do so things nice. like that. That's nice. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do with your IRA uh, in charitable giving. Oh, nice. And uh, so that you can minimize that. And say, you know, what you do is you minimize, you've got to pay taxes. That's right. And minimize uh, your taxes on your assets, period. Now, I hope I did a pretty good job of, of, yeah. of uh, answering the question and defining what are income producing assets. Different uh, savings vehicles or investment vehicles that you have that can be restructured into generating guaranteed lifetime income. It's kind of nice. Uh, you got that steady income that's coming in decade after decade after decade and then you can have wealth transfer to your loved ones. Exactly. Okay, husband, children, grandchildren, but if you don't want to uh, make errors and mistakes in your retirement journey, just ask Freeman. Call me at 833-414-7233. And what is interesting is I've seen uh, during this show uh, when uh, folks uh, get a hold of me, I, I didn't know I was going to get you. <laughs> I, I, was, I said, just ask Freeman. <laughs> I didn't send you a surrogate. Uh, and then case caseload just piling up. <laughs> so, uh, yes, this is a. Uh, uh, we have to make sure that our assets are in place and restructured such that it generates that income. And what you said so importantly was, Freeman, the dreams. What's yeah. important to that retiree that's sitting in front of you? Uh, a person might, well, you know what? I've had them say, well, I'm going to buy a boat and I'm just going on the bay and just fish. <laughs> that's that person's individual goal and dream and yeah. have enough money in order to make that true. And I, and, and I meant that there is, there is no romance without finance. I love that. I, and I really am feeling that. It's difficult to have some fun. <laughs> you hear fun. that, guys? No romance without finance. <laughs> Can't be broke. Because it is stressful, yeah. Yeah, it is stressful. Well, you don't have enough of. Right. Can't quite get there. Can't you take know. your wife on that great vacation. You can't do all these things. She's working every day, and yeah. it, it's stressful. And it's That's, hard to have romance. Exactly. It, it, it really is. That's and funny. so uh, we've been... Uh, blessed to have so many clients that yeah. I didn't realize 4,000 plus it's amazing. that are really doing very, very well because they made wise choices early on. What did they do? They just asked Freeman. They said, look, man, uh, you say you can do such and such, and we work their design, their programs, tax efficient plans. They know how to uh, uh, get their Social Security benefits without mistakes. And I had to go right back to age 62. I said there was a, when it comes to Social Security, folks don't realize that they can work and receive Social Security benefits. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's take that up when we come back and just ask Freeman. There's the number again, 833-414-7233. Stay with us. All right. When was the last time you saw your financial professional? Are you getting the most out of the strategy that was created for you? Although you've done a great job finding someone to help plan for your future, are you 100% sure that you were given the right strategy? We can help answer these questions and more with a complimentary second opinion evaluation. We will take a look at what you have in place, then help determine if you are well positioned to get the most out of your future retirement income. In the event that it is not, we can help by making suggestions and showing you how to get on the right path. You wouldn't get just one opinion when it comes to a major health decision. So why would you treat your most important financial decision with such disregard? Call today for your no-cost, no-obligation, second opinion evaluation to see if you are getting the most out of your retirement income plan. frequently ask where we think tax rates are headed.
Most experts agree tax rates will eventually have to go up as our federal debt increases. Without any changes, the government's current plan is set to expire in 2025. Every penny counts, especially in your retirement. Is your current plan efficient and optimized to reduce your tax obligation? Contact us today. Just ask Freeman for a complimentary review. Reach us at 833-414-7233. Welcome back to Just Ask Freeman. I'm going to ask you, Freeman, a question. Can you work and still get Social Security? You most certainly can. Okay. It doesn't hurt you, either? Well, the here's, money here's the in? caveat on that. There is a cap on how much you can earn while receiving Social Security uh, benefits at age 62. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. What about the reverse? Can you stop working, not pay Social Security, or I'm sorry, and not take Social Security? Mm -hmm. You don't get uh, penalized for that. No, you don't. All right. Okay. But let me go back to that first question. Okay. <clears throat> There's a cap, and that cap moves that's some, the maximum amount of income that can be earned for that year. Anyway, it comes out, the ratio is this. For every $2 that you earn and you file at age 62, mm -hmm. are you ready, ready, Rebecca? Yeah. Here we go. How much? <laughs> for every $2 earned, and your Social Security benefit goes down by $1. 50%? That's, that's a 50% penalty. Now, here's another kicker. What if you file at age 67? You have to be cognizant of the fact in the year you turn full retirement age 67, you can make the error of working and getting your benefits. Again, you gotta know when to file and how to file. There's a cap. Okay. For every $3, now this is in the year, quote, the year you turn full retirement age. And let me dress it up, let me mess it up a little bit. <laughs> All right. You know you're going to get your Social Security benefit, and your friend says, uh, buddy, uh, whatever, hey, you're going to get your Social Security uh, benefit in, in eight months or nine months, and uh, you file nine or ten months earlier. You don't know the month, and, but yet you know the year. Mm -hmm. So you just run on down to the Social Security Administrative <laughs> Office and sign up. Wait in a really long line. Lo that's the how. I was going to show you how to. <laughs> I wish I'll elaborate on that in another show because I'm going to teach you and share with you when to file, the rigors of, I should say, of, no, I don't want to do, I, I want to say when to file, avoid the cost of mistake while working and yes. getting your money. It's 62. What happens is 67. What happens at age 70? Now, we know what happened is 62. For every $2 earned, $1 is reduced uh, for your Social Security benefit. In the year you turn full retirement, age 67, Rebecca, there's a cap, just like at age 62. <laughs> for every $3 that you earn while receiving benefits and you're working, reduce your benefit by $1. That's a 33% penalty. So, folks, you, you need to know when to file. You also know, need to know uh, how to avoid costly mistakes in the event that you like to receive your Social Security benefits and working too. What you do? Just ask Freeman. <laughs> Call us at 833-414-7233. You don't have to be in the dark. Just ask Freeman. You're going to know when to file. You'll know how to maximize your Social Security benefits. That leads me into maximizing the Social Security benefits That's now right. and working. Age 70, from age 66 and so months, or age 67 to age 70, you will increase your Social Security benefits 72%. So, if you like your job and I'm you sorry, can 32 hold on, thirty-two percent. I was going to say I'm, seventy-two. I'm working until I'm seventy. <laughs> let me let me put down the pin. <laughs> I'm gonna file myself. <laughs> but if you but if you enjoy your job, it really is like extremely beneficial to hang on till seventy. Oh yeah, till you age seventy, you get and a thirty-two percent increase. Uh, you can make all the money you want, even in the year when you turn full retirement age sixty-seven. You just know you need to know the month 
as far as and the years concerned in working and receiving your Social Security benefit or you get caught off, caught up into the caps <laughs> at 62, 67, you just need to know. Just ask Freeman. 833-414-7233 and get your Social Security report. How you do that? Go to ssa.gov. Rebecca, you got it? Yes. Click on that right button, log in to the left, my benefits or my uh, Social Security. Go in, you'll see your primary insurance amount, PIA. Download it. You'll see a little graph, 62. Uh, you'll also see, uh, like you said, you started 16. I started working in McDonald's sometime back in the day. They still yeah. took FICA. That's right. <laughs> still tax. <laughs> and Who's that, this FICA guy? Why does he yeah. keep taking my money? <laughs> and here you are now. Uh, your, your, now your Social Security benefits will be predicated on the prior year's income. So you can actually see when you're 70 what amount it would be and then it goes from 62 yeah. up. Even deeper than that. I will have that report so that you'll know it's 62 if you file, 63, 64, 71, 75, 80, the breakpoints, everything that you need, and explain to you in very simple terms. No high with, beer with, all that. Right. No. Just ask Freeman. 833-414-7233. Call today. And you know what, Becky, when we get in these conversations here on this show, you know, the clock on the wall it just ticks away, <laughs> and you're having fun and enjoying it. I really enjoy me uh, too. you as my co host Thank here. You. Uh, helped me out a whole lot today. I, and, you know, I just appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, I learn a whole lot from you. You really need to be a professor. If you do ever retire or have the time, <laughs> you need to teach. I wish public schools really did teach this. It's so important. Well, I had a choice. I didn't feel like writing two publications a year. I didn't feel like <laughs> but you wrote a book, and that's another thing yeah. you'll get but, when you come and ask Freeman. Uh huh. But uh, yes, uh, this is what I really, really enjoy. It's a yeah, pleasure. You can tell. Yeah, and um, I always have you close this out, so All that right. the next time uh, we'll have a good time sharing some good things with our. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Give you that number one more time. This is Freeman Owen Jr. and it's such a wonderful experience to be with him. There's the number one more time. Thanks again and we'll see you next time. All righty.